Well, the fate of Dean Skelos and his son Adam Skelos will soon be in the hands of a federal jury. In their closing argument, the prosecution said that there was overwhelming proof that Skelos turned his office into a, quote, cash cow to fund his son Adam's lifestyle. Capitol reporter Kimberly Howard has been sitting through hours of summations. The defense had its turn today. She joins us live now outside the federal courthouse in Manhattan. Kimberly, what's next? Well, Greg and Liz, the judge will finish instructing the jury on the law tomorrow, at which point deliberations will begin. Now, just in the last hour, Dean Skelos walked out of those doors, out of the federal courthouse, telling me that he's confident that both he and his son, Adam, will be found innocent. As former Senate Majority Leader Dean Skelos walks into federal court, complete confidence. What you're hoping from the defense today? Today's our day. Today's the day his defense team finally speaks up. They've called no witnesses over the course of the four-week trial and presented no case. But when it comes to confidence, like father, like son. Hope to uh, be found innocent. You know, the three Can men in the come? room that were running the state, two of them are crooked politicians. My dad's not one of them. The prosecution is accusing Skelos and his son of extortion, bribery, and fraud in connection to three alleged schemes that prosecutors say netted Adam Skelos roughly $300,000. But the defense says while Senator Skelos is a politician, he did not sell his office. During hours of summations, they tried poking holes in the government's case, saying the prosecution's four key witnesses all have immunity, and that, the defense says, makes their testimony questionable. Skelos' attorneys contending that the scores of emails and wiretapped phone calls all serve as a distraction to mislead the jury into thinking the government has proved its case. The defense insisting that instead the government is presenting only snippets of a bigger picture which backs up their narrative, but not the truth. Like I said from the beginning, um, I have absolute confidence in our judicial system. The jury is working diligently, they listen diligently. And I'm confident that my son and I are going to be found innocent. So if all goes as planned, the jury could have the case as early as tomorrow morning. Both Skelloses facing eight felony counts each. Greg? Kimberly, I know you were there for voir dire jury selection last month. Tell us about this jury, the jury that's going to decide the fate of the Skelloses. Yeah, Greg, uh, the jury is made up of eight women and four men. They range in age from their late 20s to their late 50s. And this jury, they're all from the Southern District, so mostly Manhattan and the Bronx, this area. That's actually one major difference between this trial and the corruption trial against former Assembly Speaker Sheldon Silver, where all of those jurors were from this area as well, which is Sheldon Silver's area. They were uh, trying him in his own district, and that guilty verdict for Sheldon Silver decided by his own constituents. And this play, in this case, none of the juries are from Long Island, which, of course, is where the Skeloses are from. All we are right. live in Manhattan. Kimberly Howard, CBS 6 News. Thanks you. Thank you very much, Kimberly, in Manhattan. Liz?